Hi Gemini and welcome to your reading. This is for the next three months. What is to come in the next three months? So I will be doing September, October and November of 2024. So um, I'm going to divide the reading in three rows and I'm going to add on some extra cards for you. Okay, so I hope that you all been doing well. I hope that you're, uh, you know, having a great time where you are are just uh, you know living life and uh, you know striving so let's get started with your reading i also want to say for those of you that reached out for a personal reading if i haven't answered you back it's that i haven't had time i am a one woman show so meaning that uh, because i have a lot of e emails coming in uh, in time i will be answering and so those are still interested in a reading um, i could provide it for you uh, but if you are a person that is impatient and wants a reading right now like that it's it's not going to happen okay so i'm just uh, saying putting it out there on the collective that you need to have patience all right so let's get started with your reading we're going to start with the wisdom of oracle cards let's see what is the theme for september october and november for you of 2024 what's to come Well, you got peace in the month of um, September. Uh, there is a peace offering for a lot of you. Maybe there's peace within yourself, in your life, or with a person. Someone is extending an olive branch here. Okay, and it's number 20. Let me see. I have to put my glasses on. I think it would be better. 23. Okay, number 23. Right, so peace, September. October, November, and I'll open them for you uh, as soon as, uh, very soon, okay? Something has to be fair here. Something has to be fair in a situation for you to be fair. Something has to be fair or something has to come into balance. Okay, that's been uh, Now let's uh, take out the cards. We'll start with the month of September, then I'll go to October and November, like I said. Uh, and then after that, I will add extra cards for you. For my gems. Let's see what's taking place for Gemini in the month of September. You got the Queen of Wands. It's all about your confidence. The King of Cups, the Death card. Yeah, this is a whole transformation that's taking place for you. Uh, there's a bigger picture here uh, in a situation. I feel that uh, for a lot of you, this is, has to do with personally yourself here. I see that you're more reserved, okay, in terms of your emotions. Uh, you're like not really looking in the past any longer. And, uh, you know, um, you, you value family, you value your time. Uh, there could be an energy of a Scorpio around you. I could, I do feel that there's emotions here and passion. If this has to do with uh, love for some of you, if not, it just means in overall is that there's a huge transformation that you're going to be going through uh, in the month of September. And it's uh, it requires the, your confidence and uh, also your emotions here. There's It's like the universe is trying to propel you forward here, okay? There's a new beginning taking place, okay? Uh, you're seeing the signs you've been feeling it something is coming in divine timing for you okay but again the universe is trying to propel you forward yes it's not easy you've been going through ups and downs in a situation gemini or you're trying to bring something into balance here it's important to stay grounded in the month of uh, september let's see what else they could tell me about september here there is love here definitely Okay, with the Ten of Cups. There could, this could be a relationship. This could be you with love that you have within yourself around the people that you love here. But there's definitely an energy of love, okay, that's taking place. And with the Four of Wands, there's happiness, okay? Happiness, joy, peace, um, stability, uh, celebrations in the home. So there's something about a home here, okay? Uh, shows uh, long-term happiness or just uh, a lot of celebrations and love and care one more card this card wants to pop out okay 
and the seven of cups it's okay to dream big you can seven of cups talks about having a lot of wish fulfillments like what you desire okay uh but uh, just don't get stuck with the illusion uh be realistic of course you could also dream big it's okay uh, but don't get confused, okay, because you are on the right path. You definitely are on the right, right path. Some of you uh, have already maybe relocated or, or moved. Uh, there's some type of transition you're going through or will be going through, all right? Now, let's look at the month of October. Now, the month of October, you got the fork in the road, okay? Fork in the road, number 18, which equals to a 9, completion. So there's a direction you need to go on, right or left, right? So... You're in the fork in the road, so we'll look at what this means for you in the month of October. So you hear in the background is my dog chewing a bone. So you can hear probably Ray chewing a bone, so I can't stop him from doing that. All right, in October, you have the seven of wands. The page of pentacles. The six of pentacles, six, eight, wait, the nine of pentacles. Okay. Nine, page seven. Okay. I see that you've been putting a lot of work into yourself, into who you are, in the way that you see yourself, value yourself. There's prosperity around you for sure. You've been really working at something here. You've been trying to put a lot of like, and on everyday basis in the month of October, there's a lot of energies around you. Uh, you will feel that you're being attacked with these energies or being like uh, curveballs or something like that. But Spirit says that you're already in the energy. You're already, uh, like it's, it's being shown like you already overcame the situation. It's important to stand your ground. You're above something here. And there is an offer coming in for you. And you're going to reevaluate this offer. You're going to really look at the offer, whether it's, it's a job or if it has to do with a loan or a school loan or a school thing, or it has to do with something coming in for you, okay? Um, uh, I do feel an energy here where you're going to really look at something uh, because definitely there's something coming into balance here. It's important to give also in the month of October. So giving, something about you giving to the less fortunate here. Um, let me see. Uh, in the month of October, I do feel there's some type of energy of feeling nostalgic or something is going to remind you or something is going to come up. Uh, of, it's like a trigger almost, not like a trigger, but almost like a trigger where it's something is going to remind you of something that happened in the past here. Okay. Uh, I do feel that in your friendships or and in your, your relationships, uh, things are going to be stable. I do see that. I do see that you're going to be healing and moving on. Yes, because there's like this desire and these completions that you're going through. The nines are very strong in the month of uh, October. So there's a lot of completions you're going through. So it, there's definitely a wish fulfillment here for you, okay? With the six of wands, there's recognition in your community, in your friendship or in your work. Whatever it is, you're, there's some type of recognition that's coming towards you. Uh, and it has to do a lot with your self-confidence as well. Now, let's look at the month of November. You have poised, and this is number 48, which is a 12, which equals to a 3. You're waiting for something to come in here. You're ready, all right? So let's see what this is all about for you. November. Two of Wands, Ace of Cups, the Ten of Swords. Yeah, there's an ending of a cycle that you have to go through, whether whatever struggle or the dead end in a situation could be in your thoughts, a person, a situation that you're there's a dead end here. Okay, definitely. Um, it's important to be honest with yourself in the month of no November. And it's also important to speak uh, with your throat chakra in a, in a good sense, like not in a negative sense, but at least, of course, you are honest people, but be honest with yourself in a situation here, okay? Um, because justice is coming in for you. 
So this is very positive. Um, karmic scales are balancing here, right? Things that were unjust will be justified. Uh, and this will happen like around like October, November. Of course, this is all happening for you. So the truth and fairness will be here. With the Ace of Cups, it talks about new beginning for you. There's abundance in any shape, way, or form. Celebrations, okay? There could be something new, someone new. And you are making plans. You're definitely making plans here and moving forward, okay? Let me see what more I could see. Okay. Yes, there's an energy that uh, with, uh, in the month of November that uh, communication is going to be very easy. Something is going to take flight. You could be also taking flight somewhere, but communication is very easy. You're going to be very busy. It's going to be like, it's like an, it's an energy where things are going to start moving fast for you. And um, you are going to take action forward with the Knight of, of, um, the Knight of Wands. Okay, there's an energy of you... Um, wanting to adventure wanting to go out there and this is what i see that's happening there could also be someone coming in for you as well okay in that energy it's important uh at this time is to take a break sometimes and take a nap if you can let's oh, wait a second there's too many cards here okay so i didn't even not call the cards so let's see from uh september to october what is it uh, what's the integration here for you High Priestess, follow your intuition, follow your guidance. And let's look at October till November. You got judgment. So there is a judgment that's taking place. You're going through a spiritual awakening. Something has been stagnant for a very long time. You're trying to find different perspectives here. Okay. And with the devil card and energy, it talks about the next level. Uh, in finances, I feel for you. And... Uh, also, I think a lot of you are looking at yourselves or you're probably micromanaging yourselves is what I'm also picking up here. If there's a tendency of patterns that you're doing here, I really feel that you're looking at it and you are definitely being helped to release that. Uh, whatever these patterns are, uh, that can also be taking place where you're feeling stagnant in, in different areas of your life. Give me another card for the final, please. Whatever that you've been waiting for to come to fruition will come to fruition. From the Seven of Pentacles, you went to the Nine of Pentacles. And this is very auspicious, okay? You've been really uh, putting a lot of work. Uh, uh, you're waiting for something to, uh, uh, whatever that you so so not so <laughs> sorry, sorry. Whatever that you've been putting out there to manifest or whatever you, hard work you've been putting into something, there's going to be a reward here 100%. There is definitely a new beginning for you, okay? very passionate beginning here you have to decide and you there is judgments that you will have to do let's see the overall for september october uh, september october and november you got the king of wands the eight of swords and the lovers of course you come into your own reading yeah you're still releasing something here definitely with the five of cups shows up as where you're at the end of a closure uh where you have to admit your mistakes whatever mistakes that were made from others where you know you need to do some type of closure there's a bigger picture here in the situation and a lot of you are probably feeling stuck you're probably overthinking it remember you are you are the high priestess and um, you are being guided so just follow your gut follow your senses you know follow the nature whatever it is that you need to follow here it's important that you are making judgments about yourself. I do feel that when it comes to your patterns or people around you too. So there's something that you're sacrificing here or you're just waiting because there's a time period of waiting. There's decisions that you have to make, but you have to see the bigger picture in the situation. Um, you are a leader, uh, Gemini, okay? And it's about taking action towards that uh, as you make changes. So now we're going to look at the soulful trees to see what else uh, Spirit wants me to inform you with. We'll take one card for September and one for October and one for November. You have to put value something here is devalued 
in the month of September that you have to really look at your value maybe and what you bring to the table or what others bring to you at the table. All right, so let's look at the month of October. In October, you get Prosper, okay, Prosper. And in November, oh, November, you get two cards. You get Be Present, Stay in the Moment and Pre Present and illumination so something is going to be illuminated here for you okay something will definitely bloom in your life whether it's finances love or your you yourself definitely something is going to bloom let's take a card a numerology card let's take a numerology card okay guys sandy ray Shh. sandy ray be quiet please okay 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 Shh. It's okay, it's okay. Okay, let's look at, let's take a card out for numerology for the month of September. One for September, one for October, and one for November. Okay, one, let's look for October. This card wants to come out. And, okay, perfect. So for September, you have one, two, three, four. The beautiful synchronicity here. That's about good luck. In the month of September, this is about spirit guides, uh, progress, justice, structure, systems, processes, conditioning, and rules. You are on the right track. Someone from the other side has your back and encourages you, encourages you to try your best. You will succeed. Observe your surroundings and communicate clearly. Be sure that everything will fall. Be be, be sure that everything will fall into pi, uh, pieces. Um, and when I was talking about the nines here, you still you have nine nine nine, so you already uh, you have already a lot of nines here. Three nines already with this other three nines, it's a release. So October will be about release. This is about balance, finances, success, wealth, cycles. What goes around comes around. Your current circumstances are ending, so you might take advantage of better ones. If you are experiencing a significant change or conclusion, viewing your life as a series of cycles or chapters may be helpful. How can you make room for something new to emerge? And in November, you have 2002. So 2002, maybe 2002 will mean something for you. The void. Okay, so this is about longing. It's about technology, ambition, genius, forward thinking, stress, and depression. You have more control over your life than you realize. Learn to learn and execute what interests you. Turn things around. It gets better with time. There are plenty of friends to make. So chill out, have fun, and open up and go outside. Now, last but not least, we will take out a card from the universe to see what the universe, Gemini, wants to tell you. So let's put this here. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is for September, October, November. Okay, that's fast. So Gemini, bigger and better experiences are coming your way. You may not be able to see it, but great things are coming together for you as you read this. Trust the process and let it unfold in divine timing. Move forward knowing that all is working out just fine. So Gemini, I hope you enjoyed your reading and uh, please take care and I'll see you soon. Bye.